Hey guys, Adam back here with the e-collar training, back here with the course. So with a good e-collar, and I'm just going to talk about e-collar technologies, you can pick it up from e-collar.com. The one that I recommend is the ET300. Uh, the reason being, guys, is that it's a really good company. When you start going with cheaper e-collars, you're not going to get the same effect, okay? So I'm just going to be talking about this one. You can use other ones, like more higher value ones or higher priced ones, you know, like a hundred to two hundred dollars is like a sweet spot um the ones that are cheaper they come with cheaper contact points which are going to cause irritation they don't have a nice snug there's not enough upgrades that you can get like i'm going to talk about right now so with the t300 or e collars in general what you can do is upgrade the strap the strap is the most important i think or one of the most important the reason being guys we always want a tight connection, right? But we don't want it too tight. We want it to be form fitting. We want it to, to go with the dog because ultimately if two contact points can touch at the same time, then we're getting a solid connection and we don't have to use it high at all. The dog can feel it really, really low. To do that, it needs to be fitted properly. So at first they come with like biothane uh, straps, okay? This actually is one that is nylon the reason why i like this one is that i use this is that not only does it come with a buckle so that you can get it right you know fit it snug you can also fasten it right here through you know through the fastener system it's a really good upgrade um, if you want to get it then what you want to do is you want to ask them for the nylon strap with the metal buckle so if you guys want to get this, then what you want to do is go with the nylon strap with the metal buckle. However, what I'm going to recommend is something a little bit better. And you know, this is just coming from experience. I want you guys to have the best possible, you know, uh, equipment. So this is what I'm going to recommend. And I believe it, you know, all these are like 10, $20, but if you're going to be using it forever for, for the next five, 10 years, might as well use the right things. Okay. So the next one guys is talk about form fitting. When you guys put this on your dog and you guys think that it's tight enough, the dog's usually sitting, right? When it gets up, the neck gets released and now it's loose and now you're not going to get that same reliability. So now they got these things with, um, they have these straps with basically a bungee cord so that no matter what, it's form fitting. Whether they're breathing crazy, whether they're sitting, it's always going to go back into position. So I would recommend that. Get the one with, they have an actual uh, uh, a nylon or a biothane one, uh, e-collar technologies with they have a metal buckle but it also has a bungee cord too you can go on the internet and you, you, you can find different ones e-collar technologies already has them let's talk about the next uh point is contact points guys so you guys will notice that this is for uh lower coat dogs okay at the end of the day guys again we need these contact points to touch the skin so you're going to remove the hair and you're going to make sure that the contact points touch now this is an upgrade these are hypoallergenic ones i recommend these these comes in different sizes three fourths and three eighths they also have uh long haired contact points which come with a little bit of a tip so that it's easier to connect to the dog guys because if there's a solid connection if we can get it really solid and really nice fitting not too tight not too loose but perfect then the dog feels it and we don't need to go over literally five six seven eight nine ten as opposed to going 30 40 50 and guys literally people trainers they tell their, cu their customers, keep going up 20, keep going up 30, keep going up 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I know dogs that are trainers that use these things on 100 like nothing, and that is just ridiculous. Here's my thing, guys. If a dog doesn't understand a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there's, then they don't really understand 80, 90, 100. I mean, those are like, you know, those are points where it's basically abuse. Anybody could shock the dog. I'm going to teach you guys how to use this thing the best way possible, right? So again, guys, e-collar technologies, upgrade the, the straps. You can get this one or you can get the one with the biothane. You can also upgrade the contact points. I would recommend the hypoallergenic ones. You can go up and down in size depending on the length of your dog's coat. Uh, make sure that when you're putting it on that it's two fingers tight. Um, you know, wiggle the hair out of the room and make sure that it's touching and then get the corresponding contact.